All right, so I, I've started the live stream, and uh, hi, everyone. It's going to be a little squirrely. I've had about four hours of sleep, but I wanted to get on and, and kind of play for a bit. I am looking for, in theory, uh, looking for salvage data, but this place has uh, natural burial sites all over, so I'm also just kind of grabbing the bones along the way. Um, I've been doing this for a little bit, not too long, about 15 minutes when I thought, oh, hey, I should be streaming this. So that's what we're doing. So there's a reason the title says maybe squirrely. So I'm just saying. So, um, let's see. What was it? Oh, yeah, I remember now. I was going to show you what I found. Um, I put stuff on the freighter already. But I, one of the reasons I thought, oh, I should be streaming this is I found, <laughs> I found this. Finally preserved skeleton, which is worth uh, one and a half million units. And I thought, right, that that was an awesome find. And then I also found uh, this uh, almost 500,000 intriguing skeletal fragments. So this planet is a planet that provides some pretty neat stuff if you're looking for it. Oh, and then another one here, grubby bone fragments. So already just walking around, I've made two million um so you know i just thought well let's walk around some more I've, what's ironic though is the the salvage data is kind of spread out but i have 10 now so we're making some progress Um, no, I figured if I started picking up honey, then I'd, I'd really, I'd really be slow. <laughs> so I'm trying to focus on just, just the savage data and, and the occasional damage machinery as I find it, you know. Ooh, this is another reason that I like this planet. Not only is it, um, you know, do you find, uh, bones, it's generous with it. See, there's a lot around here. So, um, what we're gonna do is switch over to our ter terraforming, and I'm just gonna go with the, the big terraforming, because this is not like when you're mining for, um, copper or whatever. You're not trying to gather the dirt. What you're trying to gather are the bones, and the easiest way to do that is to really dig in. Now, you are making big holes in the ground. It's not anything that you're going to be able to really repair, so that's just something of which to be aware. But it kind of fits with, um, um, you know, archaeological kinds of things anyway. They tend to get in and dig in, and it's not... And, and then they use their brush. The, the multi-tool is the brush, and, and, and it is great that it just sort of leaves the whole bone to be found there. Oh, oh, we found another one. <laughs> I feel better now. I don't feel like I've gypped you guys from something. <laughs> awesome. So, um, yeah, this is this has been kind of fun, just kind of finding stuff here. So, let me make sure I got it all. I did. All right, let's scan around. There's some salvage data over there. Um, let's take a look. Alright, so the bone that I just found is worth... Ooh! Oh my goodness. One million... Almost... One, almost two million. Uh, along with the other bones that I found, I mean... 1,792,637 units. Um, well, I put them in the freighter. Yeah, I've been making room as I go, because I thought, well, I'm going to be walking for a little bit. And the freighter has, you know, more space. Now, I'm keeping, like, the interior design of my freighter. 
Um, if we ever find a, another one, I'm not going to try and use something, you know, that. Because I'll keep an eye out for, like, an S-Class or whatever. I can't afford it yet, but if I do, I might trade up. But right now, the freighter I have is really lovely and has a goodly amount of room in it, so I'm not in too much of a hurry. Sure, I got this scanned. I, I have so much oxygen, I don't need to like get more. So, and all the people who had oxygen plants have been they've done me a solid that way. Ooh, there were, oh, this is one of those where they had the buried tech and the salvage data. And now I have some cadmium. Rock on. That's great. I could make a... Yeah, I'm going to be able to make a cadmium drive. Though. Yeah. Alright, so now we have more room in the pockets here. Very tech over there. I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's more um, yellow tags, um, you know, for bones. I, I don't know that there's a particular direction, but you do tend to find bones kind of in the hilly side of things. rocks while I'm here. Every little bit helps, especially when you... I I have to say, I love that we can scan minerals now and actually, with the new modules, have it be worth something. That, that has been a long time coming. That we've moved from just getting 200 units to actually getting real money. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the geologists love that they've finally been acknowledged as a serious science, you know? <laughs> Not yet, no. It's floating crystals, though. And there's some bones down there. I found bones, and I found floating crystals. We're gonna go take a look at those. Ah, the best. Floating crystals are awesome. They're just, they're, they're like fun little things to pop when you just need, need a small entertainment, you know. Yeah, kind of like popping bubbles, yeah. Well, you get very good things. These are worth money. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Either you can sell the, the results straight or you can um, refine them and then you get a lots of money that way. So, yeah. So they're kind of like, you know, um, they're fun to look at, I think, and fun to get. One cool thing would be able to, to have like a decorative item, you know, uh, in their shape, um, just because uh, 
they're pretty and it'd be nice to like shrink them down and put them on your desk or whatever. Uh, no, I don't think they've been that model yet. Uh, we got snapped twice now, but I didn't even see him. It's just, you know, I was floating over him. I wasn't that close. <laughs> And the little animals, there are they are all over. Yeah, I found all the animals on this planet. Uh, it, you know, I got two thousand uh, on the nanites. Oh well, well. I've been wondering about that. Those. Okay, I, I hate to say it, we're gonna go for the natural burial site. Looks like we may only have two here. Alright. Blue. Another blue. It's all good, I mean. Money is money, you know. Oh. Oh my goodness, that's like a sodium field. Now, I'm not gonna go off to the sodium either. I have a ton, but I am gonna... I'm gonna scan them there. Oh, the salvage data when it's outside and you just grab it. Viking effigy. I can apologize to Viking someday. At least one. <laughs> yeah, at least one. Unknown building. Well, let's see. That's sort of heading back to my ship, though. Which means I have kind of been walking in a circle here. <laughs> yes, yes. 
But I've been following the trail of wherever, you know, the, um, the good stuff is. Oh, I better pay attention to where I'm walking. Go. I'll let it refresh a little here. Because I can't walk up this. So I have to wait for my jetpack. Since we're not quite, uh, uh, I want to say vertical enough for it to just fly. It has to have a certain verticalness for it to just fly, even if you have no power. Drop pod. That's a drop pod. I'm gonna go do this real quick because I can. <coughs> and then I'm gonna take a moment and we're gonna make um, uh, antimatter housing and a carbon nanotube. last hole here and then I'll start on the next row um, in the cargo eventually my extra suit will be awesome That looks like a natural burial site in that direction. Really, in a, in a way, what I ought to be doing is finding a really tiny planet, like a really nice moon whatever and then I'd be finding salvage data like every couple feet or whatever, you know but but this has been kind of fun to just kind of walk around and, and, and look around and catch a few items along the way it's very relaxing What's also relaxing is knowing I got all those little plus signs going on. So even when I get snapped at, I know it's not really doing anything. Might have to patch up my suit a little, but it's not doing anything to me. Ooh, I'm not avoiding that one. I'm... Well, I, you know, I... I need to salvage data because I, I don't have as much as I usually do when I build things. Um, salvage data is good for your buildings, you know. You... You've got all your furniture and random building materials, you know. Um, your blankets and pillows, so to speak. We could use more of that. We could use more, um, you know, um, comfort level things. But at least we now have cups and a, and a, a teapot. So, <coughs> you know, I, and, and I suspect it's one of those things that like the uh, Hello Games never thought, you know, people are going to want to put items in the buildings that they have, you know, and just... It wasn't a high priority. But personalizing is 
one of the things that I like about the Quicksilver menu and, and whatever is it really advances the personalizing of things. And I do kind of wish that they had more household items just for fun, or bookshelves, or, or, you know, things that you would expect to find. But people, the, the, the thing that not having a lot of those things is that there are builders out there who are really, really clever. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Big pardon, everyone. It is still kind of, you know, not weathery outside, but I have a growing garden, and and I, I still have a little bit of the allergy kind of thing going on. Okay. Let's see. That bone. The blue one. one. Also blue. And blue. No more, but I have a pretty good shelter here against the storm, so we'll just hang out here till the storm settles down. Good time to have your books out. <laughs> let's take a look at what we got. Oh, we got five of these, so let's move them over to the ship. I'll be able to go back to the freighter and sell these. This would be really nice. If we look at the freighter... Yeah, that's, that's a lot of... That's a hunk of change there that I've got going on. So... You know, I wonder, I look at my starship here, which is far out of range. Never mind. We won't look at the starship. But I think it might be time to maybe put in a, in a cadmium drive. Oh, you know what I could have been doing? I could have been doing the store, the trade rocket. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. I'm not in the habit of that now. Um, it's, it's a fun addition, but I think like uh, newer players are probably far more in the habit of using it than I am. I'm, I'm used to storing and waiting and selling. That's what I'm used to. Take a moment and gather some honey real quick because I can. And then what I can do with that is I can go 
There we go. Much better. And I've been wandering around a lot and using my life support a lot. There's another unknown building that away. Looks like it's kind of both on the way there, so let's head in, head in that direction. Nice, but I don't actually need a minor settlement right now, so I think I'll just uh, grab this and then I, since I haven't circled it, it's not gonna stay on my um, I mean, I'll obviously see it, but I don't necessarily need to go grab it. But I might go to the knowledge stone that's down here. here by the damaged machinery I saw. Ooh, I have a milestone. I've been walking a lot. Oh, no, I gained a word. Oh, that took it a little while. there. I mean, did I not get it? Oh, it's a completely different one. Another buried tech over there. How far away from uh, the? I'm 12 minutes away from my starship. So when I pause, and, and I will probably just call it to me. Get all those cactuses over there. That, that's a lot. Right there. That's a lot of carbon or vegetables or whatever you want to make out of it. But that's a lot. I 
This is a, a pretty generous with this resources planet. That's the one thing I have noticed is that that um, actually it's it's got quite a few things, are, you know, going for it. I love it. Just grab it. Just like I grabbed the sweet root. And by slowing down, I, my, I, my shields had a chance to um, kind of regroup. Looks like that might be buried cash. There's a chance there might be salvage data over by there, so we'll go ahead and go in that direction. Unless I see something else that's, you know, closer. Oh, well, that is technically closer. Take a look. We got 30. All right. I think um, I think we're going to get this last little bit of very tech and we'll probably call it good here. Um, just because, you know, I, I tend to uh, prefer like shorter, shorter um, wanderings around, but There's another damage machinery over there. Explain, explain the coughing a bit there. <laughs> ah, the joys of allergies, you know. Hello, hello. I am great. How about yourself? Awesome. Awesome. I'm almost done. In fact, let me finish up here and... Uh... Okay. I think I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm going to call my ship to me. Well, now 
that's doing interesting things, isn't it? Jump in and jump out. And then, um, I think we're going to call it good here. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a really great day. Um, I ended up with uh, salvage data. I have 40 salvage data so far. And, and then I have, I have, a, you know, about 3 million in uh, ancient bones, give or take. So, I had a pretty good haul, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty good take, I think. And, and there's another site not too far from here, so I'm, I'm just going to call it good here, and then I can wander around more later tonight or whenever I do the next one, you know, so. Yeah, all good. All good. So, have a great one, and we will see you later. Thank you for watching.